Bum, 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 bum. I'm gonna stop singing. Hello, welcome back to some goodie time with Aziza, who is me, also known as Gourmet Pens. This is going to be a pretty interesting video because I'm really excited about these. Now, um, let me tell you what this is instead of just horrifying you with sounds and moving items. Uh, at the first Durham Region Pen Meet, I sat near uh, Salman of the Toronto Pen Company and he was teaching me about dip nibs and dip nib holders and I actually ordered a dip nib holder from him which is not in this box because I didn't want to open the box and then have it fall out but I just wanted to have this so I could show you this. Uh, the dip nib holder is beautiful and it's an oblique dip nib holder but what we are going to focus on today is the gift I received when I picked up the dip nib holder from him which is a set of folded brass nibs that he made by hand. Now, if you know me, you know I like mess messing around with ink, I like playing with paper, I like throwing ink splats, and I enjoy tools where I can experiment with inky goodness. So this was perfect. I had, yes, I know, I had a lot of dip nib holders. These are all straight holders. I have three at home already, so this is perfect. I just stuck them in, but I just wanna show you how incredibly fun these are and how these can like bring out your creativity, you can hand letter, you can design stuff with these, and they are handmade by a gentleman in Toronto. So let's take a look at how these work and then I will just make an inky mess down when the camera tilts downwards. So let's let's go do that because it's gonna be fun. So Salman, thank you so much for this very, very generous gift. Like, I am so excited. I am telling you, pen people are just so much fun. And you think they're fun online, and then you meet them in person, and that's like way better. So organize a pen meet and go have a good time. Yay! My peeps, what up? We are here with these three handmade brass folded nibs from Salmon of the Toronto Pen Company. I've got a bottle of ink here. I select it. I just, I just grabbed this off my shelf. I picked um, Pilot and Oshizuku Shin Ryoku, which is like a dark medium green, maybe. So let's, let me just, let's open it up. Now, I'm gonna put this on the edge here. There's three different shapes, so I will just do a short writing sample of each one. Doesn't really matter. I'm not a pro. I, I'm not good at this. I just like to have fun. So we're gonna dip the, the whole. I'm gonna show you here. I'm gonna dip the whole thing and then just touch the side to get like the drippy excess off. Sometimes it's like a um, a bit of a game, like you have to figure out how much ink you want on it and stuff. It's up to you. Uh, okay, so here is writing with like the tip of this. You don't have to write sideways. I'm just writing this because like writing like this because this is the particular writing style I'm going for. Um, you can also do a, wait, let me redip that. Like a really broad, wet version. Toronto. Pen. And then I'll just redip for the, actually, let me show you what will happen if I use the entire thing. Uh, this is the top half. This is the, um, I don't think I have enough ink at the bottom to do it, but let me show you. Oops. Uh, this is the lower half. Now, this is obviously not beautiful. I'm kind of just kind of showing you how it can be used, but it's incredibly fun. These are superb quality. I absolutely love them, and um, I'm so excited about them. Isn't this fun? Okay, so that's one. Let me switch to the next one. This is a, uh, um, like it's got a shorter angle. Uh, no, it's a higher angle because this one has a lower angle. This one's got a higher angle. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So let's use this one. You can see, uh, you can get some different shapes out of it. Let's write. Sorry. 
That was user error, nothing wrong with the nib, just so you know. Hello. Um, I just really enjoy these. They're just so much fun and you can kind of see why you would go through more ink. Now one of the things I like to do is tap the excess ink out for like an inky splatter effect and I just think it's fun. So that's one. Here's the last one. This one has a flatter top and a longer base which you can't really use so it's definitely about the top of it. So for this I'm using a light hand, it's just the sound of the metal on the page. You don't want to press into it to cut into your paper because it is metal. So you do want to be a little light handed with it. Love. Because I love these. Oh, that is a really upsetting heart, but you get the picture. So there you go. There you have it. Writing sample of all of three of these folded nibs from Salmon of the Toronto Pen Company. Thank you so much, Salmon. I'm thoroughly enjoying these and uh, I hope others will get in touch with you to get a set of these because they are totally worth it, totally fun, and they make an incredibly fabulous gift for pretty much any pen lover in your life. So thank you very much. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this video or any of the other videos that may pique your interest. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. So I would also appreciate your support over there. That would be great. So thank you very much and we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.